What's up, y'all? It's Say La La, your girl here. Um, after my makeup challenge, as promised. Whoa. I did a whole nother video because I wanted to do one with this makeup that I done. Yes, it looks crazy and it's not blended. I look like a little ghost. Ah, ah, ah. We'll give you an idea of what I want to talk about to you. As this is a Talks with Say, just really quick, as you may have gathered when I said ghost, I'm going to be talking about power. And yeah, I waited a couple of days, but I know that everybody's lives don't revolve around Sunday, watching TV, they have laundry, they have children, prayer, whatever you gotta do. So I wanted to give everybody ample time to go ahead and watch, so that way I can spill, spoil, do all the other stuff, hopefully not spoil, because you should have watched the episode by now. But yes, I wanna talk about power with y'all, and just kinda discuss about what y'all thought about the ending. Now, I just wanna kinda go over as far as the characters. I'm happy that Dre is gone, dead, duck, <laughs> dead cooked fried burnt gone i'm happy that he is gone um i was very impressed uh the way that he went um i don't know why i cannot remember his name but um not spanky but the other one and y'all tell me his name but he was so dope i liked him with the burner phone i'm happy that he lived and remained i, I mean i really liked him i'm glad they, they took out you know definitely was super excited and happy that not a hair was touched on tommy's pretty little head Certainly happy that he's off on his way going going back back to Cali or starting off to go to Cali for the first time. So that's awesome. I'm very happy that he was not touched. Um, there's going to be some information on that coming in just a moment. I'll let you know about why he wasn't touched. Um, but also, I was very kind of just like, Ugh! I was a little bit disappointed, but I also understand why. So let's talk about... Um, Tasha and Tariq and I for whatever reason just could not believe that they stuck with the six people that they were counting down to to have you know the person revealed to who shot goes for me I really truly honestly thought that they were gonna pull a fast one I thought they were gonna be like okay well you know what let's throw Ramona in it because I thought that she would have been dope because the very first person that killed to let the girl go I think her name was Maria that should have been her mom that should have been the one that was like, yo, motherfucker, you she killed um, her boyfriend, but you kidnapped my daughter, so what's up? She already had the money anyway. She couldn't testify, so it was like, whatever. But that would have been dope to have Ramona be her mother and come back after all that. You know, fuck up ghost, you know what I'm saying? That would have been dope for me anyway. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but I thought that would have been amazing. But just to kind of stick with Tariq, ugh, like that kind of just... I don't know, for something in me, I just thought that was just too typical. I just, cause everybody was like, oh, Tariq, Tariq, Tariq. I know Tariq would have done the blah, blah, blah. But I have argued with everybody's, like it can't be Tariq, it can't be Tariq, it can't be Tariq. And it was. So to any of y'all that I was like, it can't be Tariq, fuck y'all, I don't care, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all were right, I was wrong. But anyway, um, I do think also too that Tasha, uh, I would have honestly preferred Tasha to kill Ghost because she had to deal with so much mess and madness from this man. Of course he cheated on her, cardinal sin. You know what I'm saying? She stuck it out with him. She wanted him to be the biggest goddamn drug litter, <laughs> litter, <laughs> drug dealer that uh, New York has ever seen. I mean, I thought that was cool and all, but she couldn't get away with that mentality. She, he was trying to go on the straight and narrow or whatever he was trying to do. But I mean, ultimately she couldn't get used to you know the idea of him going legit but then also to all the other stuff so she put up with a lot of shit from him and then definitely the end he was capping on everybody and especially her talking about he would tell on her he's gonna take the kids from her like that was just crazy so i would have liked for her to be the one but then i was also thinking well what if both of them shot him like i mean i know that doesn't make sense because it's only one trigger on a gun for two people but i'm thinking like she would have tried to like basically try to get the gun from Tariq, and maybe there was a, a struggle and then maybe that you know somebody pulled the trigger and maybe it should have been tasha and i don't know maybe my mind is going over but all over but i should it's tv anyway you know what i'm saying anything could have happened but um as far as the way that tasha set that man up why tasha you didn't your husband gone tommy ain't fucking with you no more um he might you know because he's still kind of you know he's still leaving family but i think he's over that shit like she doesn't have anybody to like have her back the, the little girl where does the girl go like the daughter like where does she go i think her guys or so i'm just like oh god like who are these kids on these tv shows you just they don't ever need it like where who is their babysitter and i need to hire them <laughs> for because the kids always be somewhere but um, I just didn't like the way that she, you know, went 
about you know trying to set him up but i will also say that the reason why she did it is because her and Tariq did not communicate at the end you know he had basically had it set up where everybody was good golden he had saw sax come out of there with um with the gun he was gonna blame everything on him Tariq should have just told her that so she wouldn't have had to come up with another plan. But again, communication is key. That's so, so important in real life and in Hollywood, apparently. So, um, that's that. Also, too, Tariq, ugh, I have never wanted to whoop a kid's ass so much on TV. Like, this little blankety blank. I was like, yo, he needs an ass whooping like on every episode. And I just wanted one real good, real strong time where Ghost would just like yoke him up real good. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Something like just make him, ugh. Like, you know, and I know there was this point where he kind of got in his face a little bit, but I don't know. I just wanted him to like to punch him in the arm or, you know, something. <laughs> Maybe punch him in the chest, uh, Tariq fake asthma, fall out, you know, make Ghost feel bad about it. <laughs> Whatever. But just a, a quick little kick in the ass, like, bro, you're not running shit. I'm the dad here. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be like who I am. You ain't gonna have to do what I have to do. You are privileged. Just get your shit together and do that. Um, but obviously that didn't happen. Uh, another one of my favorite parts, Kanan. Like, for real, for real, got something to tell y'all about that in a minute. But, oh my God, I just, every time that he comes in and he just makes something happen, he all, he is so funny. I miss 50 on that show. Like, I feel like, obviously the show is over now, or the first chapter of it is over. But, um, obviously y'all should know also as far as the chapters, there's another chapter coming. Mary J. Blige, a lot of different people are going to be in that. Hopefully it's good. It's a lot of people that I've seen on the little list. But hopefully, you know, that's going to be something worthwhile, chapter two. But Tommy, my dog, I love me some Tommy, for real, for real. And he's having his own show. It's called um, Force. I don't know too much about it. But Tommy is basically playing, like, the lead character. There are certainly more links and details to that. Obviously, that's not my... Um, I have no copyright options to it, but I will put the link into this video so y'all can see if y'all haven't already because there's a whole nother spinoff talking about Tommy and how he's living his life or whatever. But um, I don't want to say necessarily overall that I was disappointed in it, but I will say that I just wanted a little bit more and um, you know. But, I mean, I'm happy that the show is not completely going away. I mean, it's such a big franchise at this point. How could they? It's such a huge money maker. So, ultimately, power, you know, was cool or whatnot. But at the end of the day, I'm just super, super happy that Tommy is getting his spin-off show. And that's going to be... Kanan's going to have another show, too. It's going to be, I think, before the death of Kanan or something like that. I can't remember the, the title on it. But, absolutely, he's going to have a spin-off show, too. So, I mean, definitely Power fans, we are still in the game. There is more to come. If you haven't watched Power, I will say this. It does start off as a softcore porn. I don't know how you feel about porn, but I promise you it starts off as one. So, get in there. Watch it. I was personally annoyed because at the time, I wasn't getting none. <laughs> but I'm like, I don't want to watch this shit. But, I mean, after you can get past all the that thousand shit um, flying around. And, and there is a couple of ass shots and ghosts, though. Like, you know, he just <laughs> But I mean, all of it's good if you like all that kind of thing. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's what you like, you know. But I mean, ultimately, they got a little bit of something for everybody. So nonetheless, I just want to end this with saying, watch, go back and watch all the other episodes. It's, it is worth it. It is worth it. Try to go, you know, watch the episodes and whatnot. But in the meantime, between time, I just want to again say thank y'all. Don't forget always to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for my quick little review of Power. And yeah, we're gonna keep doing these videos and popping. And again, been a little bit busy, but I guess that ain't no excuse. I'm gonna keep rocking these suckers out. And we're just gonna keep going and going. So again, besitos. Thanks again for sticking out with my ghost makeup today. Not too bad for a blind shot, but nonetheless, thank you, thank you, thank you. And like, comment, and subscribe.